we'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pitches it, and he'll lose yardage. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Looks middle, got his back. He's tackled at the 17 yard line. Number 17. Tackles him in the back at the 17 yard line. That'll bring up third and long. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Eagles have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Second down and five. Ball on the 37. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. Just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 19. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. Nice first down there on the option. Yeah, the quarterback does a nice job here of pitching it out to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 40. It's the tailback, 
decent run here, right side. That's, That's good for a gain of four yards. yards. Third down. down. Zips it to the back. He lost the ball. The defense scoops it. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 42 yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Check three, check three. Here go. Mike, Caught with room to work. And he's level at the 46 yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. He's at the 30. We've played one. Still no score. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Three down, three down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check him, check him. Run play, and he'll lose yards. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. From the 24-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. Brought down at about the 21. That makes it third and Here's the eighth play of the series. Oh boy, almost there. 
intercepted. They'll line it up for the field goal. Virginia Tech is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Here's a handoff, left side, and down he goes at the 27. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. This one is batted away. It's away and it's a booming punt. A punter who can place the ball inside the 10-yard line can be a great weapon. He's really got him pinned deep now. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Virginia Tech has a three-point lead. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Got the corner. Nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tailback brought down for a loss. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answer. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's taken down at the 46. Boston College's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit, and they're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep, and you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. He fights forward to about the 40. That's a team of two. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught him, and they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Boston College is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up. No good. He hooked it left. Yeah. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia Tech is up by three. And he is drilled at the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. He scrambled. The Hokies will use their first time out of the half. middle of the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and ten. around the 31-yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 31. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Mike 34, Mike 34, scoop, scoop, scoop. Go, go. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Virginia Tech is up a field goal. Going for it all to the end zone. Picked off. It's the quarterback. Pushed out of bounds at about the 49. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Red 85! Red 85! There's a fumble. Now the defense has it. The safety. The play isn't over until the whistle blows. And it was that scrappy defense who was able to come away with the ball after the tight end lost it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. He's tackled at the 14. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Virginia Tech in front, 3-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here, completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Very close game now as we start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Virginia Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's a team on the way. First down. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Ready, ready. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Number eight with the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he snags that one. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Four down, four down. Hey, 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. Ready! He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. Boston College is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 3-3 three, three tie. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. 
He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He sails it long. And he got it to the sophomore. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Tackle made around the 27 yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go, hey. We're going Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Takes the ball inside. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the net result is a loss. Virginia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. First and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Brought down around the 41-yard line. That's good for a of ten yards. That'll make it second and inches. Runs it left for a decent game. So the option play works as designed, and the offense picks up a first down. Good read by the quarterback. He made a quick pitch off to the running back, and they came away with a pretty good game. Ready! Flex! And he's level at the 33. That's good for a game of four yards. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 33. Through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. Virginia Tech's got a three-point lead.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. He just gets rid of it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Virginia Tech has a three-point lead. And down he goes at the 41. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll make it 31. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's on the run, and he has it on the corner, and they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play action pass and stretch out this defense. Just throws this one away. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Another run. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. 34 the mic. 34 the mic. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And he's going to be sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Tries to get around the corner. Brought down at the 22. Boston College has still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, the best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 19. Less than three minutes in the game. Aaron and out long. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. They'll bring him down at the 48. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. It's first and ten. Ball in the 48. Setting up blockers. The running backs got it on the screen. 
That makes it second and 14. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Bring down. Motion, motion, eight. Motion, 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 eight. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boston College's staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. This one is batted away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Just under two to go in the game. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. He's out of bounds around the 15-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Gets hit out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 49. That, that makes it first and ten. ten. Blue 88. Blue the Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Check, check. Break, 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 break. That, makes that makes it second, it second and two. two. Spikes the ball. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and two. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. A little over a minute in the game. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! He gets to about the 31 yard line. Jack, Jack! 98 weasels! 98 weasels! Ready! Green, nice! And he's taken down at the 21. Easy, easy, easy! Big dog! Big dog! First go! Green 45, hot green 45, hot green. Out of bounds, right around the 20. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. Throws it in a hurry. Third down. Ready! Motion, motion, Flag 98! Flag 98! And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Check three! Check three! Check three! 
makes Great. it first and goal. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. And he tacks on the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Virginia Tech's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's brought down in the open field. The Hokies will use their first time out of the half. Second and eight. Ball on their own 27. Stepping up, he heaves it deep. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Boston College holds a four-point lead. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Virginia Tech will take their final timeout. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Close and competitive all day long. And in the end, a low-scoring final. 10-6, Boston College. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? What a great win. To come in without anyone really giving them a chance and to earn this one is a terrific achievement. Boston College wasn't content to just keep the score close. No, sir. They came to win, and this is a huge day for them. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.